If you've been sneezing a lot and suffering from irritated eyes recently, you've got a lot of company. My head and throat hurt thinking about it. It's ragweed season, the main cause of hay fever. Nine News Chief Meteorologist Steve Raleigh is here with why this is so bad this time of year, Steve. Yeah, Tanya Clyde, it's not hard to see why. Take a look at the latest numbers just from today. Mold is at 26, 12 and high. You've got pollen at 82 in the moderate category, and the air quality itself is only moderate. This is the time when ragweed really peaks in September. It sticks around until the first frost. Meteorologist Sarah Walters found out how pollen data is collected and what you can do if you're allergic to ragweed. The Southwest Ohio Air Quality Agency tracks the amount of ragweed pollen that's in the air along with other contaminants. Every morning, Monday through Friday, they grease a plastic rod, put it in a rod holder, and then put the holder in a roto rod sampler on their roof. It spins and collects data for a 24-hour period and then gets stained and put under a microscope. Pollen is then counted along with mold and particulate matter. A report is then released by 10 a.m. for the public to access in order to take precautions if the levels are high, especially ragweed. The plant itself is everywhere. It likes really hot, humid weather. We have had a hot summer, so it's not surprising. Maybe our counts have been um, high. If you're an allergy sufferer, the folks at the Southwest Air Quality Agency have some advice. Stay indoors um, instead of maybe having the windows open on these cool nights. You know, maybe close the windows. They still have to close the windows and use the AC. Meteorologist Sarah Walters, 9 News, Cincinnati.